Hi folks, uh, welcome to another video where we're going to look at static pressure in a little bit more detail and it probably won't take so long this time. The first thing that I want to do is to respond to an article which was brought to my attention and this article can be found on the Noctua website. And in this article a comparison is drawn between these three fans in front of me Okay, it's the A version of the S12, but it's probably more or less the same when it comes to the performance. Now, in this article, Noctua claim the following. The NF A12 X25 has been conceived to be a true all-rounder with superior performance in most common configurations. And of course, the supplied graphic confirms this. However, what you won't find anywhere in this article is the information that is most important, which is the speed of each fan. You have a 1200 RPM fan, a 1500 RPM fan, and a 2000 RPM fan. Now, I find it more than a little bit disingenuous to claim that the 2000 RPM fan has superior performance when it's never mentioned that it's almost twice as fast as the S12. So what I've done is I have plotted a graph where I'm measuring the relationship between the static pressure performance of each fan and the resistance to the airflow. And what I've done is I've set these two fans, the A12 and the S12, to the same speed as the F12. So they're all kind of middle of the road. And we can have a look in just a minute at what that graph tells us. Now I can't measure the actual airflow of each fan, but what I can do is I can measure a percentage approximately of airflow relative from a high level of airflow with both of the valves open all the way down to zero airflow if I close both valves. And I've put lines on the rails there that allow me to get pretty accurate increments all the way from maximum airflow to minimum airflow. And this gives me nine positions, which I'm gonna use for the test between the three fans. Right, so this is me done with testing the A12 X25. And basically, it's a simple case of taking a pressure reading from each valve position and plotting that on a graph and then comparing the relative performance of each fan. Now, before I comment on the results, I want to reiterate that the horizontal axis shows airflow in undefined quantities from zero to maximum based on the nine valve positions. So whilst this is not an actual PQ graph, it does plot the same information just in a slightly different way. The results speak for themselves. The three fans are virtually identical for most of the curve diverging only when the airflow is almost completely cut off. And let's be honest, a PC fan will never get anywhere near this level of restriction in real-world use. PC users should really only be concerned with the rightmost portion of the graph. Interestingly enough, the A12 X25 doesn't have superior performance anymore. Isn't that right, Noctua? The other thing that I want to touch on really briefly in this video is the matter of static pressure optimization. And static pressure optimization is a real thing in the sense that fans like this Nidic are optimized to develop as much static pressure as it's possible to get from a 120 millimeter fan at a given speed. Now, this fan costs over a hundred pounds if you buy it new. And there's a reason for that. Obviously, the amount of development that has gone into this fan and things like the materials that it's made from, it's got a cast aluminium frame. The same cannot be said for computer fans. Got here a Regentech fan. It's a very 
cool looking fan. It's got some lovely shaped blades. I don't think much CFD has gone into the development of this fan. What's gone into this fan is LEDs. That's what's gone into this fan. I bet there will be people out there who will talk about the shape of these blades and how the pitch or the sweep will have an impact on performance one way or another. And frankly, it's just a load of nonsense. Any kind of performance gains on a fan that operates at this speed, they're going to be minimal, as you've seen from my testing already. Now, that's not to say that there can't be optimizations, but what you will find, by and large, is that optimizations in PC fans are for noise attenuation. We want to make fans as quiet as possible rather than have them perform as well as they possibly can, as you have seen with the A12X25. Anyway, that's probably enough controversy for one video. Now, I do have a different kind of fan here, and I suppose this is what the series has been leading up to. High pressure airflow does not come from axial fans. It comes from blower fans, also known as centrifugal fans. And the reason for that is the way that they interact with air is entirely different. I'm going to look at this more closely in an upcoming video. And I would really appreciate if you hung around for that. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you all for your comments, for your likes and to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate the support and I'll see you in the next video.